in this building that he orchestrated as an Arkansas alum. The Razorbacks and the Aggies. Anm won the toss and deferred, so Arkansas will get the ball first. Isaiah Satania, dangerous return man, is deep for Arkansas. It'll be a touchback, and so Arkansas starter from Boise State has the most rushing yards by a power four quarterback, but he's going to lose yardage on the first play. Nick Scorton with the take us for the transfer from Purdue. Led the Big Ten in sacks last year. A swing pass out in space and a gain of two. Satania dropped immediately. Des Ricks, true freshman Alabama transfer. Down the field, his ability to pick up plays with his legs. In trouble, steps up. And now throws a deep ball, going for Tesla. Caught inside the 30. Tesla going to take it in. Touchdown, Arkansas. Maybe the defense thought. Seven nothing Razorbacks. Well, what a play by Taylor. Touchback. And of this offense under Colin Klein. He's from Nashville, Tennessee, but has some family here in the Dallas area. They run it on first down to Le'Veon Moss. And Xavier's. Reed going to throw on second down. Fires complete across the 30 to Noah Thomas. This is 11 catch. He now under 15, the communication to the headset is cut off, and the pass too hot. Barber the intended target, but he was going to be short had he caught it. Danico. And a short line drive, Satania. Makes the fair catch as he goes to the ground about the 34 yard line. So 1995. And think of all the good backs they've had the last two decades. And here he is. And he gets good yardage, about six out to the 38. It's members until 1991. Green in trouble, flushed out, being chased, throws on the run. Got outside the pocket. Cash is Howell with pressure. That touchdown pass. Andrew Armstrong up top. That is his favorite target. He throws to him more than anybody. Green again on the run, backing up, and incomplete pass downfield. Green on fourth and five. High kick, but out of bounds, short. We're going to run it on first down. And out to the 34 is Moss before he's wrestled down by Sori. What I love about that for Moss. And a low snap. Here's Moss off the left side with some root. And a first down to the 42-yard line. Again, Arkansas. Four. Trey Zoon, the offensive tackle, well schemed up there on that first down run. Long throw caught in Arkansas territory and a broken tackle. Noah Thomas down the sideline into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. 58-yard catch and run, and a chance to tie the game. Down pass for Marcel Reed, and the point after evens the game at 7-all. Well, to 9 when this game moved to AT&T Stadium. That became an annual tradition. Touch for the last seven championships have gone to one of the two schools. Rodney Hill out past the 30 for a gain of about seven on the play. Play action, Green dumping it off. First down, it's Satania as again they're getting the ball out of the hand of Talon Green. Plus it gets him in a rhythm. And he's getting used as there's a flag down movement by Arkansas, getting used to the speed of SEC football. Remember, he's been playing at Boise State. False start on the offense, number 63. That's a five-yard penalty. It remains first down. And that's throughout this season. Green on first and 15 from the pocket. Throws complete. Jackson out of the backfield. And he stumbled and tripped out of play, but got the first down. A gain of 16. Catches a game from Jaquindon Jackson, along with all the carries he's going to get. Green hit again in a high pass. Trying for tight end, Luke has. 
home to play for the Aggies here in his final season. Green keeps it and dragged down at the 46 yard line by Torian York. Arkansas the number two third down offense in the country. They bring pressure. Green doesn't see it. He's hit. The ball comes out. And it was recovered by Blackstock. The right tackle for Arkansas. Jaden Hill with the sack. He's a big guy. 6'6", 230. But they fake the punt here. And tons of room. Bale going to have the first down. He holds on to it as they try to chop it out. And the Razorbacks in business inside the Aggie 30 yard line after a 26 yard run by the punter. Here comes Satania on the jet sweep. Stays in bounds, juking defenders, and down he goes at the 14. But that's a gain of. No fresh set of downs. And here's Green on the boot, gets rid of it, and Satania caught it. Wrapped up and thrown down at the eight, but that's a good pickup on first down of about eight yards. Fayetteville. Jackson on the perimeter, inside the five, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. Jaquindon Jackson grew up in Dallas. Bobby Petrino liked him coming out of high school because he was a dual threat quarterback. He was some folks that wondered would it take away from the regular season. No, it has enhanced it. You think about Ole Miss losing today, but obviously still very much alive for a playoff spot. And think about this coming in. AM had given up nine first half points all season and already 14 allowed here in the first half. Reed in trouble, and the true freshman takes off and gets belted at the 30. Yard line by Davier. They got true freshman receiver Bussy in the backfield, and he's dropped by Spence after a gain of one or two. Reed steps up and drilled short of the line to gain at the 33. Excellent punt driving Satania back and he fields it inside his 10 and he signaled for the fair catch They'll spot it at the eight yard line to the head coach now. They're working together Here's a pitch and Jackson wrapped up at the five and spilled And M's turn on defense getting a two-yard setback on first down green hits Armstrong great move in the open field Armstrong past the 20 up past the 30 and finally brought down after a gain of 27 yards. Due to injury, he is the go-to receiver for Taylor Green as the ball's on the ground. Green picks it up and looks to run, and he's tracked down for a loss of 10 back at the 23-yard line by Javon Thomas. But Javon where it costs his team nine yards. He'll throw here to Tesla. An immediate tackle at the 31 after a gain of seven. Dalton Brooks. They rush for instead, and Green swings it out to Jackson at the 30 and tripped up at the 32 yard line. So just a one yard gain for Hitfield this season. Signaling for the fair catch and securing it at the 19 yard line is Bussy. Time now for our side. We got to get him on the ground. Uh, good job by the punter on the fake. And uh, good job of making that happen. Good job of offense scoring. But we got to settle down. We got to play thorough explanation of where we're at. On second and 10 after no gain on first down, a pass play to the sideline to Noah Thomas and shoved out of bounds. Daniels had a couple touchdowns against McNeese. Week two, they give it to him here, puts his helmet down. And wow, what a block by Basantis, the left guard. And E.J. Smith, Emmett Smith's son in the game. Play fake. Reed looking. Fiery. Broken up at midfield. Incomplete. Marquise Robinson there defensively. It was fourteen seven Razorbacks. Third and ten for AM from its thirty one. Reed dropping back. All day, but everybody's covered. Now hoist it complete. A first down in Razorback territory to Cyrus Allen. 
And it's a gain of 22. Well, the bone cover to the back end, and he found an open space. Reed stepping up here and taking off. There's that crossover that defensive coordinator Travis Williams warned his team about. Gain of seven on second and three. Here's Smith, and he's bottled up. No running room. Tackled by Xavier Sori at the 42. They lose three over here. And it's Reed taking off and spun down short of the line to gain. And they might go for it. And perhaps that's the reason why they called that play. Arkansas stacking the box in movement by Texas A&M. Um, False start on the offense, number 55. That's a five-yard penalty, and it remains full play. Armaje Reed Adams move Arkansas. That's kicked in the middle of the field, and Satania has it at the nine. In yard line. And two men back to help protect as Green hands it off. And Jackson fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Texas A&M. Shamar Stewart knocked it out of the hands of Jaquindon Jackson. Well, I've been waiting to call this man's name all game because he jumps off the tape. And we talked with Jay Bateman. What are you going to do at the mesh point to deal with Taylor Green? And he said, we're going to attack it. You're going to force the issue. And this is exactly what Shamar Stewart does. Shot out of a cannon coming off the edge. And he's just going to meet him right at the mesh point. It's an excellent job by Shamar Stewart. And Scooby Williams comes up with the fumble recovery. It's going to be Moss on first down, and he gets dropped at the five. Big hit by Davier, but still a gain of five for Le'Veon Moss. Reed going to keep it here, and Reed's into the end zone for the touchdown. a Heisman Trophy finalist when he played at Kansas State the year Johnny Manziel won it in 2012. Spent the last seven years as a coach at K-State, now the OC for Texas A&M. Quinn and Jackson, huge fumble, and all of a sudden now A&M's got this game tied up. Arkansas will start on the 25 after the touchback. Let's check in with Taylor. Help the young guys develop. Play action pass, Green in trouble, spins away from the defender, and there Shamar Stewart chasing him, and the ball incomplete, nearly picked off over on the sideline. And right now, Taylor Green, he's struggling. He'll throw it here, and the ball is thrown high, incomplete. Trying to hit Tyrone Broden. You look at Taylor Green's last two games. Third and long, Green in trouble, gets out of there. And throws it away. Took another hit as he was going to the sideline. First quarter that set up the go-ahead touchdown at the time for Arkansas. That's up near the Jumbotron. Brings some rain and fair caught at the 33. It starts of the year for those teams. On first down, Reed pulls it back, looks deep, fires down the sideline and overshoots his receiver. Cyrus Allen. Few games last year before redshirting, getting the start again. 2 0 as a starter. And they run it. And Moss grabbed and dragged down. We've seen them back off, though, a couple times when they've shown that, but here they come. And Reed hit as he throws. And the pass incomplete. There was a lot of contact downfield. Sorry had pressure. Trey Watson was the intended target. There was some contact downfield. Mike Elko saw the same thing we did, but no flat. They got to bring both inside backers, and they're able to get home. But it's Sori working on Le'Veon Moss. Gives a swing move to the running back, and he touched on it down the field. It was Larry Worth the third. Back to Arkansas after the three and out. They almost got to that kick, and another moonshot. Satania, a teammate, flew right by him. We saw that again. Saw. The first and 10 on its 15-yard line. A pitch to Jackson. And he gets walloped. No gain. Brought down at the 15-yard line. Ratcliffe. I'm really seeing this Aggies defense start to settle in this ballgame. Green throwing on second and 10. 
And moves around and throws. Oh, nearly intercepted. Wow, that would have been a house call by Howell, who stepped in front of J. Howell Green respond. His look shaky here. In trouble and sacked. Back at the 10 yard line, Nick Scorton. And with Arkansas unable to run the ball in first down, is putting more and more pressure on that offensive line, which has struggled to protect Taylor Green, putting a ton of pressure on Green. A short punt. And he'll die at about the 46 yard line, giving AM decent field position. AM joined the SEC, and now they play all the time. No divisions anymore, so they won't play every year. Deflected pass by Robinson. Big personality. Low snap. Reed scoops it up and hands it off. And Daniels powers out to the 49, a three-yard run. Seven. Noah Thomas inside. They're moving him around. And they bring pressure. Reed gets rid of it as he's hit and overthrows his man. Did not have time to set his feet. Try to hit Thomas downfield. Again, the last two possessions for Arkansas have started at the 9 and at the 15. And this one will begin at about the six after the fair catch by Satania. Struggles continue here in the first half day. I mean, look at the disparity, Dusty. Minus four yards here in the second quarter after that great first quarter. And here's a pass that hit the defender incomplete. Armstrong, the intended receiver, will lead the third in coverage. The sidelines for the Hogs. They've got to get him back in this game. Oh, that snap was errant, but Green able to catch it, but no room to run for Jackson. He pushes the pile out for a couple yards. They're backed up. Last thing you have is a turnover in a spot like this. Armstrong back on the field here. And Green in trouble on his goal line being chased. He's up the sideline and steps out of bounds. And it looks like he got enough to move the chains. That's where he's so dangerous with his legs in the open field. He picks up the first down. This is exactly where he's so dangerous. That big hole opened up in the B gap, and he elects to go. He can take advantage. That's a big play by Taylor Green. Otherwise, you're punting it back to AM, and they got good, good field position. Here's the true freshman, Braylon Russell. Out to the 23 for five yards. We saw him a lot in the Auburn Benton, Arkansas. Second and five. Another touch here. Russell. And out to the 26 for about three. Let's bring in Taylor. It's not happening. Some movement by Arkansas pre-snap. False start on the offense, number 55. That's a five-yard penalty, and it remains third down. That's on Carmona, the left tackles. Now this changes everything about the play call for Bobby Petrino. Green's pass caught. Armstrong close to the line to gain, and it looks like he's got it at the 29. First half. Fresh set of downs. Green from the pocket, fires, and it's almost intercepted again, and he had Broden, the receiver, open. And they've won their last two since that loss. Green to the sideline, and wide open is Armstrong making the catch, and out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Green to the air again, in trouble. Scorton got pressure. Green on the run, throws on the run, and coming back to intercept the ball is Ricks, the true freshman. Bad throw by Taylor Green, getting yelled at by Bobby Petrino as we speak. Recovering, stepping in front of this pass. Taylor Green gets outside the pocket. I'm surprised. He didn't just take off and run and see what he could get. Instead, he tries to force something. That is on. You could probably guess it's the same type of discourse from Coach Petrino. Daniels out to the 39. Petrino did. On second and five, Reed in trouble. Got rid of it, and it's incomplete. Boy, two Arkansas defenders froze. I, I think they were worried they were going to collide. And m on its 38. Reed. Back to throw, gets hit as he fires complete to midfield. A first down. Barber brings it in to Arkansas territory. Clock will stop to reset the chains. Well, it's a big time play by Marcel Reed. Dial up the pressure, it gets home, steps into that throw, and he finds Barber for a big first down. Two timeouts left for AM. They don't use one here. Clock starting on the ready for play. Here's Reed unloading through the hands 
Oh, Barber. Reed in trouble, sacked. And there's Landon Jackson, his first sack of the year. First team, all SEC pass to win some of the trust back from the fan base after back-to-back -back disappointing seasons under Jimbo Fisher. This will be a touchback. Check here in this first half. It's play action on first down. Reed on the move. Launching it deep. Downfield. Got a man. Oh, he overshot Noah Thomas. There is a penalty marker down in the backfield. Personal foul. Roughing the passer on the defense. Number zero. Forcible contact above the shoulders. 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot and carries an automatic first down. That's Nico Davie with a costly penalty. Boy, big opportunity for Marcel Reed. Just the right hand to the face. Third straight start. Connor Wigman, normally the starter. He is out again due to injury. Here's Moss on the carry, a gain of three. Let's check him with Taylor in second long and third and long. And Arkansas got a pretty good front against uh, that offensive line for AM. And we see it right there with Reed trying to run the ball, just no room whatsoever. Four man rush, Reed with time. Throws it deep, incomplete. Not on the same page with Barber, his receiver. Tyler White on to punt. We've said that a lot so far in this game. Satania will let this one go over his head and into the end zone for a touchback. For this one. From the 20, it's play action. Green on the move. Being chased by Scorton and his pass short. And there was going to be a ton of room for Ty Washington. Point. Top of players this week, they're just so excited to be here in the stadium. Including Taylor Green, the quarterback, who pitches it to Russell, running to his left, out of bounds at the tall, including Green from Louisville, about 25 miles north of AT&T Stadium. His pass to Armstrong is on target, a first down at the 32. When in doubt, if on the Razorbacks. They started one for six on third down, but they've been much better since. Three of their last four. Green on the run, and Armstrong makes the catch at the 38. It's only saver core for Arkansas. On second and four, Green fires complete. A rare Luke has sighting, and immediately he comes up. And imagine a run here on third and short. And it's Green keeping it with a ton of Green in front of him past the 40 and shoved out of bounds at the 35 yard line. That's a 25 yard run. Takes the right read and a big chunk play. Green dumps it off. Washington, I check that Satania on the catch and tackle made by Dalton Brooks. And Russell staying in there to block. Green taking a shot and he leads Broden out of bounds. Ineligible player downfield on the offense number eight. He was covered up. That's a five-yard penalty with a replay of second down. So that's Ty Washington. Green throws complete across the middle. And down to the 31-yard line, Jordan Anthony, who was at Texas A&M a year ago. Third and six. Green to the air. On the move. Looking back. Being chased and throwing it away. The third quarter looking to put the Razorbacks on top. It's a fake. In trouble is Devin Bale. And he's down at the 38. They ran a fake punt with Bale in the first half and it worked. He ran for 25 yards. Now they try a fake field goal. It is a failure to say the least. And AM takes over. Well, Devin Bale. Richard, freshman quarterback from Nashville, Tennessee, stepping up, throwing complete across the middle. Noah Thomas into Arkansas territory for 19 yards. What's well, man-to-man -man outside, and Noah Thomas just wins inside. Marcel Reed, who are Thomas, nine catches the last two games. He's become Marcel Reed's favorite target. Reed in trouble and sacked back at midfield.
We talked about that defensive line of Arkansas. Quincy Rhodes Jr. With that injured shoulder suffered week one against Notre Dame, but he could not. Low snap. And they run Daniels on second down and 17, and he only gets a couple. Reed on third and 14. Guns it downfield, and it's incomplete. Trying to hit Barber at the 30-yard line. And now it's fourth and long, and the Aggies will have to punt it back. It's a good job in protection. Marcel Reed's got a clean pocket. He steps into this throw. The goal line in almost every punt return. He's done well so far. Tyler White again putting it inside the 10, and the fair catch made by Satania in the Miami game. Yeah. Look more like a guess. Relying on replay when obviously the call in the field is usually going to stand. He's on, undefeated. Yep, and they go to Cal next week. That'll be a tough game. Second and five, Jackson again. And knocked down after a gain of two back-to-back -back runs for Jackson. Back-to-back runs on first and second. Puts him here at third manager. Going to throw. Got single coverage, and the pass is incomplete. Andrew Armstrong back on the field, but slow to get up again. Touchdown after that came on the short field when AM got a takeaway and started on the Arkansas 10-yard line first and goal. Bussey moving to his left, fields it on the 28, and he gets pasted at the 35-yard line. Six of 17 passing, so Arkansas's defense deserves a ton of credit so far. Reed from the pocket in trouble again, steps up and takes off. There's that crossover at the 40. Now he gets leveled by Sori at the 48, but it's a 13-yard run. Dribbling a basketball, how he lulls you to sleep. For those that remember when Allen Iverson did that, here's Moss on the carry off the left side. Not much. Maybe two. Speaking of NBA, you were all over the town's trade last night. You were fired up after that. Second down and eight. Here's Reed. Ah, that's a bad pass. Boy, throwing off his back foot. A flag comes in. Downfield. Robinson defending Bussey. Um, I don't know that that was catchable if they're going to say pass interference because it was woefully Pass behind. interference on the defense number 13. The 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot. By and it carries an automatic first down. Because you're right. This pass wasn't near being caught. But as you're going to see with his left hand, watch him grab Bussey. I mean, just grabs and almost wraps him up there. Robinson making the mistake there in pass interference. They fake the throwback, and then the pass by Reed is incomplete. He got lit up in the backfield by Jack for the big hit. Potential grounding on the offense number 10. That penalty is a loss of down at the spot of the foul. It's second down. The reason they called that is the only player that was in the vicinity was an offensive lineman but more bad ones here today. On the jet sweep, another play by Landon Jackson, dragging down Barber for a loss of seven at the 43. Well, we told you from the onset. Four-man rush for the Razorbacks and a short throw. And no room after the catch for Thomas, bottled up at the 46-yard line here today alone. And again, Satania backed up inside his 15-yard line. This is a short punt, and it checks up. And will be down to around the 15, which actually, great player from Texarkana. And here's Jaquindon Jackson with his best run of the day. Starting to give it to him more here, late in the third quarter. Five carries, 18 yards on three carries in the second half. And it's play action. Green setting up, going downtown, but Broden stopped running. And the ball well overthrown. Ball should have been Prior snapped. to the pass being thrown, holding on the defense number eight. A 10 yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot, and it carries an automatic first down. The Jaden Hill, well, first down at the 36. And a penalty marker down, pre snap. Movement by Arkansas. False start on the offense, number eight. That's a five-yard penalty, and it remains first down. It's on the tight end, Ty Washington, his second penalty this half. And the Kyle Field, how about Diego Pavi and Vanderbilt this year? Nice job for the Commodores. Green's pass. Satania, no, cannot come up with it. Second down and 10. Let's go back to Jaquinco. Makes the initial defender miss all the time. 
Second and 15, Green trying to set him up for a screen. And here he is, breaking a tackle. Jackson at the 40, lowers the boom on the defender. Ball may have come out. Jackson got it back if it did. It darted on its 15-yard line. Now out at the 47. Green back to throw, pressure in his face. Green throwing on the run. Armstrong comes back and makes the catch. Great spot to run the football with 22. Instead, Green keeps it, heading for the sideline, gets bumped out of play, but had the first down. You heard Taylor's report that he was rattled in the first half, according to Sam Pittman. Green throws here to Tesla, and he's got room. Shoved out of bounds inside the 30. Tesla had the touchdown catch, 75 yards in the first quarter. Here we go again. Tied as we start the fourth quarter with Arkansas on the move. First down at the Aggie 30 in an empty set with Jackson motioning out of the backfield. Green, a design run that goes nowhere. They lose five yards on the play as we check in with Taylor moments ago with Mike Elko. Coach, your defense has been so good. How did they come up with the stop here? Yeah, we just got to bow up right here. We got to find a way to get off the field. How does your offense get into a rhythm? Yeah, we got to find some ways to push the ball down the field. Uh, we got to create some separation, and we got to put a better job, get them in better positions. Thank you. Dave? to their last six possessions. They got a stop there on first down, on second down, getting some pressure on Green, floating it downfield, incomplete. Trying for Armstrong. And they're just gonna run Jackson in trouble in the backfield and does well to get positive yardage and maybe in the field goal range, pushing the pile. They finally blow it dead at the 27. Chance though to retake the lead. A 45-yard field goal try, and the kick is nails right down the middle. And the Razorbacks lead it 17 to 14. After the way they played against Oklahoma State but lost in double overtime, they clearly have some talent. They have Tennessee at home next week. They'll operate from the 25. Marceau Reed making his third straight start at quarterback for the injured Connor Wigman. He has a completion to Moose Muhammad III, who had not been getting a lot of playing time. Another pass play. Reed steps up, throws to the sideline complete. Noah Thomas stays in bounds and then stepped out. They blow it dead after a 15-yard gain to the 43. Back-to-back -back completions. He had only seven all game prior to this series. Here's Amari Daniels trying the left side. And again, barely anything against that Arkansas foundation after seven years at Kansas State. Another run play. Daniels up to midfield before the tackle's made. Third down coming up. But Mike Elko got the head coaching job. He went after Colin Klein. And he dials up a run on third down, and they get it with Le'Veon Moss all the way down to the 28-yard line. And the Aggies in business here in the fourth after a gain of 24. What's a key block inside? Reed Adams, the right guard, handles the blitzing linebacker. Opens up a big hole. Good physical running by Moss. Moss again cuts it back. Down to the 20. A gain of eight or nine. That offensive line for AM starting to get going here. Pull the center out in front. He gets on the second level. Watch Moss put his foot in the ground and get north and south. Big run. On third down, here's where the center Bayou getting out in front, back-to-back -back quality runs by Moss. Second and two on the Arkansas 20. Five minutes gone by in the final frame. It's Moss with his third consecutive run. He's inside the 10. Moss still fighting all the way down to the five-yard line. Levy on Moss taking over on this drive along with the guys up front, it's first and goal. Some pushing and shoving after the play as well. No flags yet. Boy, I'm going to tell you what off the right side. It's Fathery doing an excellent job helping secure that edge. It's also Cyrus Allen, the wide receiver, rolling their sleeves up. Big boy football. This is... Three throwing. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Trey Watson puts the Aggies in front. What a drive by a and
looking for the point after. 21-17, Texas A&M. Reared Michigan and then helped Bobby Petrino win a lot of games when he was a quarterback for Arkansas. The Aggies have won 11 of the last 12. The series will shift from Arlington to Fayetteville next year as they go back on campus. There's the Southwest Classic Trophy, and Arkansas will have the ball, plenty of time, and Taylor Green on 28 catches, doubling the next highest receiver on Arkansas. Play action, flag down, and that pass may have been tipped. It fluttered and was caught at the 30 by Jackson. For a gain of five, let's see what the flag's about. Illegal motion on the offense number six. That's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot with a replay of first down. So it's on Satan, Utah top 10 team at home against Arizona. First and 15 after the penalty. Green in trouble, being chased. Still on the run. And now throws it incomplete as he got run out of play by Albert Regis and Shamar Stewart. Stewart getting Jaquin and Jackson going. Last drive, and they come out with two straight passes to start this drive. And here's another one. Green with a long throw, and it's caught. Broden with the catch right at the line to gain. What a throw by Taylor Green from the far side all the way to the near sideline to Broden for a first down. Oh, and he keeps set back foot in bounds before the front foot hits out of bounds take a look at this one more time that foot's on the ground mm. Arkansas snapped it quickly though and now they give it to Jaquindon Jackson trying to run laterally and there's just no room Dalton Brooks over by Arkansas to get on the football so quick and snap it second and 11 green over the middle complete Tesla in the in and territory to the 45. That's a 21 yard pickup. Green on the money. And throw it again here. Tesla on a wide receiver bubble screen to the 40 yard line. And trounce there, led by Brooks. He's done well on this drop. Second and five. In trouble as he faked the handoff. And down he goes for a loss of three at the 43 with Scorton getting pressure. Boy, Nick Scorton plays this so well. We've been talking about him a lot. He's going to be the unblocked player coming off the edge. Watch him sit down and put Taylor Green in a tough spot. He's going to come up, he's going to squat, play it, and he's in perfect position to play 43. Green to pass, pressure off the edge. Green didn't see it, but he breaks the tackle. Gets away from Jaden Hill, looking downfield and lobbing it. Did Armstrong get a foot down? No, incomplete. He almost came down with that and got a foot in bounds, but it's fourth down and eight. But they dial up the pressure, Jaden Hill gets home, but as Taylor Green does so well, shrugs off the pressure, his pass just too far, just floats up. But Sam Pittman electing to put it away here. Devin Bale, who's been a pretty good runner, seeing if he can be a good punter, and it goes out of bounds at the one. Oh my goodness, what a kick. I thought that was for sure going into the end zone. It took a strange hop at the one yard line, went dead right and out of bounds inside the one. The Arkansas alum, Jerry Jones, the reason this game's played here at at and Stadium, willing that ball from his suite somehow to not cross the plane and go out of bounds inside the one. Like there was a magnet over on the sideline inside the one, <laughs> drawing that ball right down the line. Wow. And now in the back of the end zone, Reed throwing and nicely done a catch for a first down to Barber. How about that from Marcel Reed? Back, back up. I and mean, that's huge, because now you have the clock in your favor. There's offside on Cameron Ball. You've got some breathing room. You have the lead. Offside on the defense, number five, contact. Five-yard penalty, first down. On the entire game. And again, will they try to milk the clock? They will here, and some room for the first down. Loving on Moss, past the 40 and dragged out of bounds by his helmet and a penalty marker down. T.J. Metcalf commits the penalty and that's going to tack on 15 more and put the ball in Arkansas territory. The Arkansas penalties adding up in the critical moments. That's how you lose games. Personal foul, face mask on the defense number 18. That 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the run and it carries an automatic first down.
Well, Coley Fayou, the backup sitters come in, and he gets a key block on this run. It's an excellent job as he's going to pull around, get up on the backer, sorry, and I'll pay the path. Arkansas nearing four minutes to go with a four-point lead. Taking the play clock down and running Moss, and a tackle for a loss. That was Eric Gregory in the backfield, a loss of down. Daniels going to lose yardage again, belted at the 44-yard line by... You mentioned the backup right guard, Cam Newberry, in there for the injured Reed Adams. Here's Marcel Reed taking a deep shot, and they're going to say uncatchable. There was some contact. Thomas was the intended receiver. Jaden Johnson in coverage, the official motion that the ball was overthrown, and that's There's why no, no penalty. Interference. The ball was uncatchable. Delay Time of game delay. on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Right fourth down. Give Tyler White a little more room to. First things first. Satania back inside the ten. And a fair catch made at the ten. Another good punt by Tyler White. Some mistakes, but has really settled in from the pocket and throws it away. There was a receiver over there. Green will throw again. Pressure up the middle. He's got protection, and his pass to Satania is caught around the 14-yard line. Short. Green from the pocket. And it's caught close to the line to gain by Satania. They're going to spot him just short at about the 19 and a half yard line. Snake it. And they will with Green at 6'6, 230 pounds. Moves the chains and lists where he grew up a Cowboys fan, trying to lead his team down to victory. Pressure off the edge. Green with a long throw in traffic, incomplete. And a flag comes in. Armstrong interfered with by true freshman Des Ricks. That'll spot the ball around the 35 after the penalty. Pass interference on the defense number 10. The ball will be placed with the spot of the foul, and that carries an automatic first down. Yeah, Des Ricks is kind of 41 on the clock. Two timeouts. Green back to throw. In trouble. Pressure coming. Green sack. Ball's out. And recovered by Texas A&M. Scorton forced it. Jaden Hill recovers it. A penalty marker is down, but it's AM football. Taylor Green never felt the backside rush from Nick Scorton, who led the Big Ten in sacks last year at Purdue before transferring back home to Bryan College Station where he was barely recruited coming out of high school by the hometown team. You see Stewart up walking off. Following the change of team possession, there are two dead ball fouls, both by Texas A&M. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 10. That is his first of the game for Tawny. Also after the play, personal foul, late hit, unnecessary roughness on number five. Both penalties will be enforced. Texas A&M will retain possession of the ball. First down. This is very big. Yeah. This game's not over. A&M now is backed up into its own territory of Arkansas. Well, it's all set up by Nick Scorton, working on Carmona. You see him get that rip up and the relentless effort to the quarterback. Gets that right arm over, chops that ball out. Ball is on the ground and it's a scrum and the Aggies come up with it. But as you pointed out properly, five, Shamar Turner comes in. That draws a flag, a taunting flag as Des Ricks takes off his helmet, waves bye bye. From the 42, AM going to keep it on the ground. And here's Moss. And that's way too much to give up if you're Arkansas. A gain of about seven is. After disappointing back-to-back -back seasons under Jimbo Fisher, on second down, they run it, and it's a first down. And that pretty much does it. Down to the 43 is Levy on Moss in conference play. And just the way they had to win this game, not a lot going right offensively. It's with defense, which you'd expect from a Mike Elko coach football team. Such a defensive 
guru and all of his stops along the way, and then rolling their sleeves up and getting to their brand of football, running the ball. And you start to look at it to your point, Dave. Missouri next week, I think that's a game that a Texas A&M 100% can win. You get a bye week, then Mississippi State, LSU comes to your backyard, Texas comes to your backyard, and you miss a lot of the other upper end teams in the SEC. What a win. What a performance in the fourth quarter for Mike Elko Zaggins. And if you're Arkansas, another close loss. If you're a Razorback fan, you might be saying, here we go again, just like last year. Texas A&M, 21. Arkansas, 17. The Aggies win the final Southwest Classic at AT&T Stadium. And let's check in with Taylor standing by with Coach Elko. Thank you. It was the defense that got it done at the end. What does Nick Scorton mean to this football team? Yeah, an awful lot. I thought those kids were relentless all day. We pressured him. He ran. It wasn't an easy pressure. He's got tremendous athleticism uh, to come up with a sack fumble to win us the game. That was awesome. You told me at half that your offensive line was getting their butts kicked. What changed in the second half to open up your rushing attack? Yeah, some demeanor, some attitude. I thought we found some better angles. And, uh, you know, Le'Veon Moss showed up in the fourth quarter the way we need him to. What does this win mean for your program? I just think it's the next step. It's the next step. We're not making big jumps. We're not making big statements. We're a 2-0 football team. We're going to go get ready, play a good Missouri team next week. Thanks for the time. Thank you. The next step, Dave. And Nick Scorton is a big reason why, again, Mike Elko wanted veterans, guys who've been around, had success elsewhere, and he had two sacks and the big force fumble. He set the tone. First play of the game was a tackle for loss, and then last play defensively, the biggest in this game relentless effort and pursuit to the quarterback he wins with the rip he chops that ball out and the Aggies on top and the young man from Bryan College Station who got passed up by the Aggies went to Purdue came back is the hero here today in the Southwest Classic and he said you know a lot of coaches when they were trying to get me to transfer it was all about NIL he said Mike Elko wasn't even talking money it was all his personality remember Elko wasn't there as the head coach when he was coming out of high school. But he's a big part of Texas A&M in 2024. He helps the Aggies win it in Arlington, 21-17. For Dusty Dvorak, Taylor McGregor, our entire crew, I'm Dave Pash. Now back to the studio.